In this video, I'm going to show you how to transition from an 8-inch ICF wall to a 6-inch ICF wall. I'm hoping you guys should know me by now. It's Cody with Up to Code. I'll show you what we're up to. This is the Nadura block. So we're pretending, we're setting the situation up where we have an 8-inch concrete wall that an architect or an engineer designed. Maybe we have a high backfill where we need an 8-inch core, but then on the side walls of this house, we only need to a 6-inch concrete core. So I'm going to show you how to transition and change the block and manipulate it so we can go from an 8-inch here over to a 6. This is actually unique to Nadura because they have a collapsible corner block. So their blocks all come collapsible. So you unfold them and then as you see this tie fell out. This tie is basically the key to making this transition. So as you can see, this is an eight inch corner. We need this side to, to reduce down to six. So we need to make a cut along this side. So I'll show you how to do that. These are the snap ties that come with it. So we'll just hang on to those for a sec. So you can see from line to line is two inches. So I'm basically just gonna cut down these lines. The other key to this is this, this little chunk. So don't go crazy and start throwing this away. You're gonna need it. Darn it. So smooth. So now this piece allows it to be a six inch wall. This would have been, if this is eight inch on eight inch, we would have had this as a diagonal web. So this is obsolete now. And then this eight inch web we'll use later. Now, because we have this six inch corner with this six inch web. Now we slide this down in here. Make sure it locks in, can't move up or down. So that way when the concrete hits, it doesn't shove it down or hydraulic it back out. So now, this box is gonna sit like so. Now don't get confused because I almost did before we started this. Now I'm going to cut along here, insert that two inch and expand the six inch block to an eight inch. Don't cut inside your walls. You don't, you want the least amount of foam as possible inside your formwork. Okay, so just take the two inch piece that you cut out of your eight inch and shove it into here. Now, did I do that right? Yep, I got it the right direction. This eight inch web goes in here. Make sure it locks in and that's how you do it. So now, you just alternate, so every, so one roll you'll need an eight inch corner, the next roll you'll need a six inch corner. And as long as you have one for one, you can swap those ties around. I am missing a couple elements, like we would normally spray foam the corners down, you would tie them together, all those. Those little details are not covered in this video. We're just showing you how to transition from eight to six. And so we've done that. That's the end of the video. Thanks for tuning in, I hope that helped. And I can't really take credit for this tip, I got this from the Nadura rep, our local guy named John, he's an awesome guy. So thanks for that, John, you're making me look good, but you're also helping the folks at home watching this. So until next time, guys.